So, time to find out where we are in the MA series. Perfidious. Alrighty, this looks like a spooky level. Or it's like nighttime in a jungly area. Now, we'll read the description once we load in. Yeah, this looks like a spooky themed level. Getting to a wet, dark, maybe haunted swamp. Yep, that sounds about right. <laughs> Description certainly lines up with the visuals. I do quite like, I mean, I think we were mentioning before that Semtex does nice with the visuals, but it's like, there's still some things like, yeah, still gotta appreciate, like the whole moonbeams and the whole, adding a little bit of lightning in. Uh, the lightning actually feels a little bit out of nowhere. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I will say the other thing I've noticed about these tracks is there only if there seems to be one checkpoint right in the middle, which I guess for a short track that's about 50 seconds long, it's not that bad, but well, I, I can't, shouldn't say anything until this track. Some of the other ones have felt like they could add much better checkpoint, like actual checkpoint spacing, pacing, whatever you want to call it. All right. So we got the spooky theme song, got a spooky swamp, lots of trees, which play really nicely with the lighting. tunnel. A little slower to actually get through this. Oh right, I was gonna say in the beginning the, the lightning strikes kind of felt a little unjustified with how large and in your face they are and the weather did not seem like that level. That just felt like a little much. Ooh. Now we got extra spooky lighting, moon is gone, everything is all green and hazy. I think the track is different too. Actually not sure I wasn't paying enough attention at the moment. Alright, let's go. Let's get moving. And I, I immediately screw it up as soon as I see it. No, it looks like the same kind of track, just looks different because the lighting. I do appreciate that we have a little bit of signposting with these lanterns. Are those always at transitions? If they are, that's a... Oh my god, how did I explode on that? Yeah, it looks like they're at uh, checkpoints and transitions, which is actually... That's actually a nice design uh, strategy, if that is actually the intention and the case. Oops. Well, it looks like they're largely placed at, like, transfers and the like. Oh, my God. oh, wait, that's water. Huh. I wasn't expecting to bounce off that. I was honestly just expecting to explode. <laughs> okay, I should concentrate a little bit more so we can try and get through this. Well, I... Okay, I'll just I'll just crash into that singular lantern then. That is impressive in all of the wrong ways. <laughs> so it looks like I'm not actually sure what the best way to land on that is. That is okay, that end of that tunnel, that is unclear where I need to be to line up for things. Let me uh take a slower look at that, because that might be uh, an area where the level needs better visual clarity. Because, yeah, we're just coming through this. We're moving fast when we come through here. Okay, so we do get... We do get, like, a flat roadway surface on the very ceiling in the top. That's something, but I feel it's there's not enough of it. It comes up too suddenly. Like, if you're misaligned from the road, you're probably bouncing off a branch or something. That's... That's a point that could definitely be, uh, be improved right there. The rest of this is, uh, oops, uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah, I lost that one. Wait, I'm not dead, wait, actually, can I get back on the track? I can maybe if I can see anything. Oh, wait. Right, I don't actually... Oh, I do. Were they disabled in the water? Why? Oh. I have my hands on the wrong buttons. That's why I'm like, my... My freaking... Movement thrusters on. What is going... I'm supposed to be going, like, full speed and jumping that. Oh, we actually got... We actually found the check... Oh. Oh, this checkpoint location? Ooh. 
Ooh, I don't know about that. Okay, this is not. Wait, let's see. How how do I? Okay, that's actually not too bad if you have any kind of skill. Okay, fine. I don't like starting that as a standstill so close to the jump, but you know what? It's actually pretty reasonable to make that, so I feel like that's... I sh can't really complain about that. Hmm. So nitpick complaint. There's some sort of Hounded Alice prop up there after the end but I don't get a chance to actually see it at all, because then we get to this screen, and I see nothing. Oops, I knocked my headphones out. <sighs> so that's, that's a total nitpick, but it's like, come on, man, you're wasting props. I want to see the cool thing back there. I'm like in between non-rated and down on this, not because the track itself is bad. Like none of the stunts or transfers were terrible. It's just like, I feel like this level is really murky and just like visually, it's not very enjoyable. Like there, there's cool stuff going on. Like, don't get me wrong. It's like, if you stop and look at the lighting, they're like, man, this scenery is so freaking, the atmosphere is great and stuff. But it's like, when you're actually trying to drive this, you're like, I can't, where am I, like, what's, what is things? It's like, it's not impossible to see, but it's like, it, I wonder if it's because everything is such the same color that in the murky green areas, it's like everything's just kind of blending together of just like green murkiness. And it's like, this, this doesn't feel or look very good. I think, I think it just needs a little more, like, contrast on the track, maybe some little extra effect. Like, I mean, that might take away from the atmosphere, but it's like, there is a point where if this is just a piece of art, sure, it's cool, but it's also a game level that I'm supposed to play. And I didn't really enjoy that one that much. Like, I didn't hate it, but I didn't really like it either. Yeah, something like lighting on the edge of the track. That's what I was thinking too, but I'm like, if you put like lights, actual lights on the track, I'm like, that, that it definitely would take away from the atmosphere, but there, there's, there's a point where you're going to have to sacrifice. Sometimes you may have to sacrifice that for gameplay purposes. It feels over the line to actually rate this down, but... Honestly, just my, my gut reactions after playing through it is just like, I, there was so much I just didn't enjoy about that. The actual experience of playing. Like I said, the, the visuals, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. But the actual experience I just did not like very much, so I think this might be the first one I straight down. Actually, maybe I did another one. I can't remember, though. It's, it's been very rare for me to actually download any of these, for me personally. So this is going to be one of the few... Okay, now we can kind of see. It's like a weird off-kilter, maybe sinking building, but still, it's like... I want to see more of what's going on there. <laughs> and I can't really. And who next track? Sitting a little bit low on the camera. Ooh. Description. Sometimes you get tired of doing things, but you push and push and push until there is nothing more to give. You can't give it your all all the time. Sometimes you have to stop. Oh. Really? I, I it really bothers me when uh, the descriptions are cut off like that. I know you can can only put so much text in there, but it's like, can you not cut me off in the middle of a word? What is this called? I am going to check the full description quick because I am curious in the middle of reading this. Um, sometimes you have to stop. Oh, just recommended song. And it's all 24 out of 50, so... He has a custom track that cannot be put in the game that is recommended to play with this. I am unsure how that'll work, like, streaming copyright stuff, so I'm actually not gonna do that to check out the level. Also, because it's kind of reasonable for a lot of people to just not actually read the descriptions or do that, even if they did read the description. Also, my camera's... Too much. There we go. I'm like, I'm just sitting a little low in this every time I check. 
So I can appreciate the theme more when I when I read the, the burnt out. That is not immediately what came to mind. So all the purple, I'm like, what is this theme with the name? Also, what was actually behind me? I feel like I saw something behind me that I didn't get to look at because I was distracted rambling about things. Oh yeah, weird glass orb. Not a port. Okay, not a port. <laughs> I had to try. Uh, oh, I'm under something. It's just not rendering because the camera's inside of it. This is a really trippy looking track. I feel like it's a little bit on the distracting side, but this effect is really cool. We got like a reflection of stars in it, but it's purple. I mean, everything's purple, except the actual sky is black and white. This interesting visual choice visually. Because now we actually have the reflections of the white stars. Hmm. This is reminding me of a geometry stage. Is this actually? No, that's just a ring. That's not actually showing me something different or more. Um, I assume we're just. Oh, that's just the end. Hmm. Undecided on this one. I'll have to play it again. There is some neat stuff going on. I feel like the sheer purple of everything being all such a samey color actually detracts. I feel like it needs a, a maybe not like a hard contrasting color, but like maybe like a clearly different shade of purple or something just to add a little more visual interest or even just clarity. Ooh. Also, I must point out, beat matched lights on this building. Very appreciated, but uh, a, little, a little too subtle, perhaps. We need, we need uh, more of that in a better place, please. Or actually, you can leave it there, just add more. <laughs> All right, so what happens if I actually do the track proper? Oh, actually, I wanted to... No, oh no, I'll just experience full track first, because I skipped a bunch at one point. Uh oh. Okay, and then this is dropping down to the ground level. I mean, these are beat match level. Oh, okay, every other one. I don't know. See, the problem with doing this is this color now actually stands out way too much because everything is so sheer purple. It actually is, it's actually a different color than everything and it just looks odd. I think if we just got a little more, just a little bit of other contrasting, like, accent coloration going on here. Stuff like that would not be so blatant and... Makes me a little curious about the choice to make the sky black and white. Like, again, if we just had a little more color in here, I think... I think things would... The, the odd colors out would feel less... The West confusing because it's like it's like is that does that mean something? Why why do we have just like these random odd things that are not purple or not the purple? Also, do I actually have to go through this? I'm curious. Okay, yeah, that is solid. It's like th there's actually a lot of actually I did want to come down here and take a look at this weird digital waterfall. Maybe not like that. That's a neat effect. Oh yeah, it is literally ones and zeros. <laughs> nice. There's a, actually a lot of cool props in this scenery, but I feel like it's really hard to appreciate it with just everything just being the purple. And a little bit of the track's crazy neonness takes away from some of the other like bright lightings. It's like, yes, there are cool lights, but the track is all of the light. Which, don't get me wrong, I like that effect on the track, I... Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I might be nitpicking, but this level is just... It's really cool, but I feel like it just also feels odd, like it's not quite there. If this is just like an experimental thing, I mean, it's neat. I'll give it a rate up, because I feel like there's enough cool stuff going on. And the track itself was pretty decent. I enjoyed that track. 
it was very very semtex with a little bit a little I felt like a little bit more than what a lot of his average tracks are so eh. I would say that one's that one's mixed it's a little bit better in some regards and a little worse in others so it's 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 less consistent but I think the overall overall quality is there Let's check out Shattered. Ooh, interesting visuals already. What is our description? I saw this picture in the background of the song. Build a track with similar color scheme and feel. Okay, so based off of visuals from a song. I like... I like what I'm seeing so far. I mean, I guess it's based off someone spent a lot of time just developing interesting visuals and built a track out of it, so you know what? That works. This crazy diamond background, I kind of like these black pyramids encroaching in the track, but it's like, we're literally starting on a sideway, so that doesn't feel like some horrible hazard, like, why are these things blocking all of my driving space? It's like, nah. Mm, I'm a little mixed on the flatness of the colors on the track. I guess the contrast is there enough. It's a little bit odd. Okay, and that's a... Uh, is that a cooldown? Yeah, it was a cooldown. Oops. I was like, oh no, well, no, that was the actual checkpoint in the track. And that's at a reasonable place, too. Doesn't feel horrible to start from there. Which is good. There have been a few tracks where I'm like, these checkpoints do not feel particularly great. They're use- ooh. That was an interesting transition. So, I mean, much as you'd expect from a tr mm, Yeah, I guess with the inverted colors, the white pyramids work. Say... I mean... The Game Boy wasn't bad on this track. I don't know, I think this is a track where the visuals actually kind of overrun the actual... What? Gameplay process, if you're like... I mean, I, that's obviously going to be very individual. And for me, since I'm not, don't have to think too much about how to navigate these obstacles, it's like, I kind of get to, I mean, maybe it's just first time, let me uh, play through it again while I'm talking. Where it's like, I feel like the visuals, I'm just like noticing the visuals and I'm like, I don't even notice what I'm, what's going on with the track, really. Which, at the same time, it's like, given the inspiration and the theming for this track, that honestly entirely makes sense. I'm just not sure quite. That feels a little weird with the heat in there, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'll pay more attention to the track. I mean, these tunnels are definitely cool points of interest in the way they work with the lighting and stuff actually looks really nice. And we got some loops and stuff with the shadows in the dark, like... Like, I'm not sure what it is, but it's like... When I really look at it, it's like, the level seems fine, but... My, just my impression after playing it is like, eh, nothing special, but it's like... I feel like that shouldn't be the case, but for some reason it's given me that impression. I will say visuals, very nice, cool, like, it's based off song visual aesthetic or effect, like, yeah, it definitely did its job there, like, I can see that. It, it feels, it feels like this level absolutely does what it set out to do, so, I think I should, should recommend it, because, like I said, I feel like the track is better than my, like, natural reaction is telling me it is. So, like, there isn't really any, like, I've, like, it's definitely not a down rate vote, and I feel like, uh, I feel like doing no votes underrating it a little bit, so, I don't know. I don't know, that, that one feels really hard for me to judge for some reason, other than cool visuals. <laughs> uh, what was this one called again? Is it? 
crystal mines. Some discoveries are best left undiscovered. Definitely looks uh, very underground mine like. This is a very odd starting point, I have to say. That is my first impression. Is like we're starting halfway off the road like this. Like that's weird. Okay, like, I, I guess this is meant to be a. We do have a crystal up there. Visuals are a little basic. I think the the bright blue on the road is a nice choice. It really uh really gives it a contrast to stand out from everything and makes this environment like if this environment was all just green stone and the gray and the road was just like not lit up i think it would look very plain and not that interesting hmm. i'm just like i am kind of curious about this environment i'm not quite sure how i feel about it but it's got interesting stuff going on i've used such a broken screen so yeah kind of already going in with the theme of something uh, something's not quite right here I guess we're not strictly supposed to be driving on the minecart track since those are there is a hazard. We've got blue power lines, so we, we do have a cohesive color scheme that's kind of set into certain aspects apart. Oh, excuse me. I was trying to look at the big drill in the background. That's very, very inconsiderate of you. I am trying to sightsee in the middle of your mine, your mine railway, sir. Now this, I like this as a prop, that's cool, but this is one of those like weird color choice questions where I'm like, I know that's all the lighting, but like the very cyan green of this makes it stick out way too much from everything else, where I'm like, hmm, that doesn't quite look right to me. Also, I, I kind of... Okay, hold on. I'm gonna restart because I'm kind of disoriented myself. Okay. So, do minecarts come flying up if I'm just driving here? Where am I supposed to be going? This is a level that's currently having issues with, like, signposting what the actual track is since it's... To me, at least, it's already established that this is not safe roadway. This is not necessarily what you want to be driving on. And is this a secret alternative route, or is this actually where I want to go? Because I see glowing, mysterious glowing stuff. And mushrooms. Uh oh. What? Am I? I think I just went inside the geometry. Can I get back out? No. Okay, I I can't blame that on the level, because that feels like more of an engineer <laughs> than somebody didn't quite put place the geom geometry correctly. Let me go check that out again, this time with a little more speed. This does look like it's supposed to be a hidden pathway. If it's not, I'm going to be very confused as to what, why they're putting things of interest to draw my attention over here. But yes, this does appear to be a pathway of some sort. Ooh. I, I dig this visually. Crazy starry effect in these giant glowing crystals. And we have the extra, 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 extra large mushroom in the background here. Uh-oh. This is actually visually a little disappointing, I have to say. Because the surface of this looks really, really cool. I'm like, this is some rad, glowing, shiny crystal water. And then I go in and it's like, oh, everything's just kind of murky and blah. I mean, maybe that's just the way distance handles water, but I'm like, mm. That feels disappointing. So where actually am I trying to go down here? Like, there's obviously a path through here, but again, where? Where am I going? What even is this place? Oh, what? Why is there a... Hold up a second. I see a ghost just staring at this giant crystal. I'm like, is there something here that happens, or... What? What is that? I get this is probably not the main path and that's like a secret ending, but what? I have to, I have to play this again. I have to try and do it the regular way and see where we wind up. Actually see if there even is a regular way, because what what is going on in this place? This is one of those conceptually cool, but... Oh, what? What? Those normally start... Well, I guess I actually never started clean going full, full speed ahead. Maybe 
maybe I can follow the minecarts here, but then why do they go back as like a hazard? Okay, so that's a dead end. It looked like the track wanted me to go off this way. So I guess we're kind of trying to run parallel to the track. Not necessarily on it, so we don't get run over by minecarts. Yeah, this looks like it's guiding me this way. through this okay yep that is the checkpoint actually let me take a look at that mm. I mean, it definitely stands out with the green it's just like mm. not sure how i feel about that as being the checkpoint it feels like it clashes a little too much with things i do like that we're getting like not all over the place but definitely some like heavy duty mining equipment as like scenery Like, yeah, there's some, there's some, there's some serious mining going on around here. Ooh. That, oh. That's not what I expected to happen. I need to land and recover. It's not clear what the intended way to cross that is, and, and again, we just get kind of like a random end here. I feel like the exits need to be- this level is just confusing, like... It's cool thematically, and it's got the visuals, but playing it is just... odd. It's more just the abrupt endings, where it's like, okay, yeah, I can see an ending being there, but it's like... Thematically, it's like, why is at the end, I guess, this shaft we escape out of, and there's like nothing marking it like i don't know i really do not know about this level it's like it's technically it's got everything it needs to be good but it's like it's just not implemented in a way that at least works for me personally this feels like it's gonna be a very like mixed level like, some people are really going to love this level, some people are just going to be baffled by it, and the people are going to be like, No, this thing sucks as an experience. I'm kind of like in the in-between where I'm like, I, I just don't know. It's got cool stuff going on, but I don't know about it as course, as an actual course that I'm supposed to drive through here. stage is making me question a lot of things. Let's see what happens. Okay, the road just falls off. Okay, there was a cooling point there. Maybe I could have... Oh, does the water actually remove our heat? Yeah, it looks like we are literally supposed to just fly over the lake, which is like... I mean, I guess... I I feel like if uh, if we are supposed to fly over that, there should be like an air ring or something to kind of signpost that. Yes, indeed, track go this way. You are not just going towards prop because it's a, the only thing that gives you any direction out here. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a no rating level for me because it's like... I like that it had the secret route and stuff, but I don't know, there's, there's just too many issues I have with that level to actually rate it up, but it's like, it, it feels like it's doing enough right that it doesn't deserve the damage. But I have a feeling that everyone's going to have their own opinion.